I was at a change point in my life of just trying to redefine who I was after my military experiences, so it seemed uh, very fitting. My name is Roger Sparks. I'm a Force Blue team member. Force Blue is a nonprofit organization of military trained combat divers and special operations combat vets that uh, have come together to protect and restore the oceans and, and help with ocean conservation. Initially going into this program, we weren't sure how we would fit in with the marine conservationists, but I think in life in general, power can be found in dichotomy. This all affects us in a very healing way. Not only what conservationists feel about veterans, combat veterans, but also what we feel about conservationists. And it's not them or they, but it's just we. I did 12 years in Marine Reconnaissance and 13 as an Air Force pararescue. My job is to meet people on the worst day of their lives. It was Operation Bulldog Bite. That intensity and surreal nature lasted for about two and a half hours. Five guys were killed, four guys died in my arms, but I was able to save four. Having spent 25 years in the military, you can't see the forest for the trees after a lot of that. It's very, very hard for guys to break away from that or to create an identity outside of that. And that's what I think the real gift of Force Blue is, is to enable us to be a part of something. We want to do things that matter. One of the biggest challenges when you leave your military experience is the lack of purpose. And you have this downtime that this is funneled toward a self-destructive path, or certainly one that just doesn't give you that joy to wake up in the morning, know that you've got a job to do. My name is Nathan Quinn. I am a proud member of Team One, uh, Force Blue. I'm a veteran of the US Army and uh, Army National Guard. Force Blue is giving people mission therapy. Soldiers like myself, PTSD and having problems, readjusting to civilian life. And it says that the best way to, to help us is to give us a job and a sense of purpose. And in this case, we get to convert a military skill set and use that to lend a, a hand to this amazing ailing resource that we have in the world's ocean whether it's hopping down after a hurricane, waking up at 4 a.m. and get out there on the water and start turning these coral heads over. And in that sense of giving the coral a community and a position to thrive, it also gives me a chance to, to thrive in a situation that I've been trained and born, born to do. All right, you got her? I got her. All right, Thank you. good job, guys. So the particular focus of this project is this one region of the Florida Keys. We're looking for a particular disease, FP, fibropapillomatosis. It has afflicted, they think, the entire population of the Florida Keys green sea turtles. And for some, it presents itself in a rather horrific way. We go out on two boats every morning and seek out these green turtles, try to capture them with either dip nets or by physically jumping on the turtles and bringing them onto the boat. No, no I'm just bringing gear. Straight max, 42.5. That's CCL men. We assess the turtles as part of the survey. We give them micro trips so we can tag and watch and know that we've recaptured the turtles if that happens. And if the FP is progressed to a point where we need to assist that turtle, we actually have a surgeon here at the turtle hospital. She got 47 cc. Uh, five minutes per kid. There's a tumor on the back of his head if you look close. See how his shell looks really mottled? The turtle was actually very sick and fortunately is looking really good and now we just have to take care of those tumors. I'm Betty Zirkelback. I manage the world-renowned Turtle Hospital. At the Turtle Hospital, we rehabilitate the endangered and threatened sea turtles. And when we think about it, they eat the sea grasses and algae. When the runoff comes from our land, it sits in that sea grass. We see a lot of human impact injuries, and our mission and goal with every turtle that comes in the turtle hospital is try to get that turtle better to return it to its ocean home. Force Blue, retired combat warriors working with an endangered species. It's almost too good to be true, really making miracles happen. I feel like this is a springboard for many things, good for our oceans, good for sea turtles.
it seems like every mission that we do is a different flavor. To collect these turtles for this research is much different than the stony coral disease. It's much different than, you know, lifting pillars of coral up after hurricane relief. Everything we do seems to be vastly different. To jump in the ocean and to, to be able to get your hands on a, a living creature that's struggling against you is pretty powerful. It's, it's something that affects you deeply. When men are dying, they don't die gently. They, they struggle. You have to fight them as you're treating them. And that turtle's fighting the same way. You know, I've seen the face of God in, in, in being with dying men, and I see it in the turtles. It's all just life. And I think that preserving and doing what we're doing is a noble cause, and it allows us to sail home to ourselves.